What's going on guys and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today I'm taking a look at the trampoline mod. Now this mod adds in a whole bunch of bouncing blocks and speed blocks that are added to Minecraft and it would be perfect for CrazyCraft 2.0 seeing as we can't fly yet until we kill Godzilla. So if you'd like to see this mod in CrazyCraft 2.0 hit that thumbs up let's try and hit 3000 likes and this mod actually comes to the world where it demonstrates everything for you. So I thought what better to use in a showcase and something that the modder has put together himself that shows it off. So first off I'm going to go over some of the crafting recipes and what things do. So let's use these speed blocks. Oh I, I goofed it up. I goofed it up. Let's go. Oh the jump and then you gotta land straight. Come on there we go. It's kinda hard to run on them when you go from side to side. There we go. Alright so first off we have these the bouncing blocks and these are pretty much the trampoline blocks. So if you jump on them like this You'll bounce. Let's jump on this one. Bounce me. All right. So <laughs> to craft those, you're going to need four pieces of black wool, a slime ball, and four string. And that makes you one bouncing block. And then you have these cannon blocks. You see these all on the left. And these cannon blocks will shoot you in a specific direction. So it's five pieces of iron, one redstone torch, a piston, and two of these heavy weighted pressure plates. So this one's pointed to the west, so the pistons are going to have to be on the, on the left, and then the south pistons on the bottom, so you get the idea of how it works. As you can see there, the one that pointed to the west shot me a mile to the west. So it pretty much just a bit of a jump boost and it sends you really high up in the sky. Now there's also these, which are padding block, and they negate all fall damage. So if you are out of creative, you need these at the bottom if you're going to use those cannon blocks or the bouncing blocks so to surround your area if you do want to get off your trampoline or off your parkour course. Next we have the speed blocks which you've already seen and are crafted with six snowballs and three blocks of ice. So these speed blocks as you see they just pretty much send you incredibly quickly and make traveling a lot faster. There's also this the launcher block which is crafted with six iron, redstone torch, a piston, <laughs> a piston <laughs> Stop it, I can't remember what's at the top. Alright, and a pressure plate at the top. So this is just going to shoot you, as you saw, miles up into the air. So even higher than the bouncing blocks. So that's pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you what some of these can be used for. I think the parkour course will be good first. Come on, faster, faster. There we go. Alright, so over here we have the parkour course. So we'll do this first. And you all know how bad I am at parkour, so you might have to be a little bit patient with me here. First we have a jump block, and we're up. Alright, doing quite well so far. Haven't fallen off just yet. Alright, now we'll do it this way. And down into the hole, down into the hole. Oh, I missed. Good job, I'm <laughs> creative. And up, up. Okay, I need to bounce again. Do it, bounce me. Thank you. More of these bouncing blocks. I missed, god damn it. Alright. I knew I was going to suck at this, but it just shows that you can make a really cool parkour course. We can maybe make really cool parkour courses up to the pixel arts that we make, and that'll make things a little bit easier than using ladders. As you can see, I really suck. I think you have to bounce right in the middle of these blocks. <laughs> I'm so bad. Come on, just a couple left. Just a couple left. God damn you blocks. All right, last one, last one. Come on! <laughs> and down the hole and to the finish line. Did it in one run. Didn't even fall off. Very majestic of me. So yeah, you can make a really nice parkour course with these blocks if you so wish to. And over here, I think that just pretty much tells you what the blocks do, but I've already told you that. And over here we have a bowling alley, which is a really clever idea of a mini game that you can create with this block, with these blocks. And if I can get there, set up nice little looks more like a church really um, so we have the bowling alley so you grab some snowballs and some weighted pressure plates the light weighted ones and you go up to the red line this is the line you don't go past or oh you'll slip which isn't good you don't want to slip on it I've done that in real life it's embarrassing but anyway throw a ball and it shoots down and I got three so you can see there I knocked three pins down 
and you need to go and collect them up and put them back if you want to bowl again. So let's see if I can get a strike. All right, here we go. Here we go. Up in the sky. Come on. Oh, that wasn't bad. A bit better than last time. Four. Not bad at all. You have to pick them up though, or they will just keep. Stop it. <laughs> they will just keep uh, coming up into the sky. What are you doing? All right, last one. Last go. I think I can do this. Strike time. Come on, come on. As you can see, there's someone in the gutter, so if I do actually flick this, it sticks up the gutters for me. Oh, I missed. And uh, it'll bounce off the gutters. Come on. Uh oh. I couldn't even use 60. <laughs> I suck so bad. Come on. Let's have you. Let's have you all. Please. What the heck? I suck at all these games. Alright, so just one more go. I need a strike. I need a strike. I don't even know if it's possible. That's one. Oh! When the pressure plates, like, kind of flip off, they tend to, um, like, bounce up into the air and knock other ones off. Because once you hit the pressure plate, it shoots it up, and that's actually really a really clever idea. So, yeah, there's loads of minigame ideas you can come up with this mod, and you can just use it simply to get around quicker or have a little bit of bouncing fun if you wish to, which I'm sure is what we'd use it for in Crazy Craft 2.0. Just to maybe add a, a little bit, a bit of a trampoline to poo or to the pixel arts. So if you want to see it in Crazy Craft, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you want to download the mod, there will be a link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.